The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when the Spirit comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. All are invited to attend a solemn high mass for the Feast of Corpus Christi at 7 p.m. on Thursday, June 16th. Music for this Dominican Rite Mass and solemn procession with the Holy Eucharist will be taken from William Byrd's Gradualia to be sung by Cantores and Ecclesia. A wine and cheese reception will follow in Siena Hall. Last Sunday, we celebrated the solemnity of Pentecost, where the Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary 50 days after Christ rose from the dead. Today, on the great solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, we celebrate the great gift and blessing of Father Brian Thomas Beckett Milady's priestly ministry for the past 50 years. The Most Holy Trinity is the central mystery of Christian faith and life. It is the mystery of God in himself. The mystery of God's inmost life within the Blessed Trinity is revealed to us through all the works by which God reveals himself and communicates his life. In other words, the Bible, sacred tradition, the teaching authority of the church, the sacraments, all open God's heart to us. In the Trinity, the Father is not the Son, and the Son is not the Father, and the Holy Spirit is not in the Father nor the Son. Yet there is no confusion, change, separation, or division within their oneness. The Father who begets the Son is fully and completely in the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Son, who is consubstantial with the Father, is fully and completely in the Father and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, is fully and completely in the Father and the Son. Each of the persons are absolute, perfect, and complete within the one divine nature and are not in conflict with each other. Father Milady's priestly ministry often seems like the work of three people. 
He entered the Dominican order in 1966, the year I was born, actually. <laughs> it, was a, it was ordained to the priesthood in 1972. He earned a doctorate in sacred theology from the Angelicum University in Rome and was a professor there for six years. He is currently a mission preacher and retreat master for the Western Dominican province. He is the author of at least 10 books and innumerable articles, writes for homiletic and pastoral review, and is a theological consultant for the Institute for Religious Life, and recently received their highest honor, the Pro Fidelitate et Vertute Award. He is also a missionary of mercy appointed by Pope Francis. He's hosted numerous television programs over the years on the Eternal Word Television Network, of which I have the honor and privilege of co-hosting five series with him. And we affectionately call each other tag team partners. <laughs> Father Brian is also the host of the popular Open Line Thursday call-in show on EWTN Radio. The heart of the Trinity is love. Let us love one another, for love is of God, and he who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. What kind of love is the disciple whom Jesus loved talking about? It's not a transient or fleeting or temporary love. It's not the groovy kind of love that Phil Collins once sung about. It's a deep, rich, and abiding love. It is a sacrificial and self-donating love. It is a love that empties us, that brings us out of ourselves, that transforms and transports us into the heart of God into the depths of the Trinity. At the very heart of God, in the inmost depths of his inner life, is love itself. In his infinite love and mercy, God invites us to share in his life of love, in communion with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father Milady has faithfully preached the truth in love, not only because he knows that he will, be, he will be held accountable before God for his priesthood, but also because he knows the truth of Jesus Christ sets us free to love with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. For five decades as a professor, he has equipped future bishops and priests, as well as countless religious and lay faithful, with the intellectual and spiritual tools needed to cooperate with God's grace and participate in his love, connecting both the mind and the heart in the contemplation of God's majesty. He has taught us by word, and more importantly, by his example, the meaning of sacrifice. That to be truly Catholic means embracing the fullness of the faith, living the Beatitudes, remembering the poor and afflicted, and always seeking what is best for others and not for ourselves. This is the job of the shepherd. And this has been the gift of Father Milady's priestly service. Within the life of the Trinity, men are called to serve, protect, and defend all that God has entrusted to his care, including the beautiful heart of God's love, which are women. Men are made to exercise leadership and authority in the image of God as fathers, and for service and sacrifice in the image of the crucified Christ. A husband and father 
exercises his priestly ministry through the offering he makes of himself and his daily activities. This offering should be united to Christ's offering in the Eucharist that fuels a priest's work in the Lord's vineyard, his daily prayers before the Blessed Sacrament on behalf of the entire church, his apostolic endeavors to serve the poor, the sick, the shut-ins, and the imprisoned. These are all spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. The main job of a priest is to offer sacrifice. We celebrate today the gift of God's life in the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Through the priesthood of Father Milady, we are led to embrace intimate and personal relationship with God, uniting us so closely to Christ that his presence in the Eucharist becomes the very center of our lives. St. Paul tells us that spiritual fatherhood is authentic when it is focused on Christ crucified. It was through the authentic spiritual fatherhood exercised by Father Milady, a spirituality that imitates Christ, that meditates on God's word and responds to that word in faith that has fostered and nurtured growth and holiness within the universal church. Fathers teach their children life lessons, and Father Brian has taught us that the more we act under God's spirit, the more we seek to know and to do God's will in our lives, the more we implore the assistance and the grace of the Holy Spirit, the more we grow in our love of God and our neighbor. We are grateful to God for his priesthood and for his years of service where he has impacted the lives of millions, and that's no exaggeration, through EWT, and they reach a lot of people. All the people who have been touched by Christ speaking and teaching through him who have had their sins forgiven and who have been inspired to pursue vocations as priests, deacons, and religious. All this from a priest whose students describe him, and I did find some students, who describe him as, quote, brilliant and an amazing teacher whose, quote, depth of knowledge is unsurpassed, who has spread the message of the Catholic faith across continents and has truly impacted the world. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the Holy Spirit draws us into relationship with Christ and the Father. The breath of the divine spirit enables the human spirit to reveal itself before the self-offering of God. In the communion of grace with the Trinity, human life is raised up to the supernatural level of divine life. We live in God and God lives in us. For 50 years, Father Milady's witness of fidelity and courage in living the Catholic faith has become his enduring legacy, a precious gift for his spiritual children, a sure sign of hope in God's endless and enduring love. Father Milady's years of faithful service to the church are worth more than words can express. And we are confident that his love for Christ will be written on the hearts of our sons and daughters, parishioners, and the multitude of people whose lives he has touched for years to come. Happy anniversary, Father Milady, ad multos annos. Amen.